guys, it's Summers here and welcome along to episode 36 of the Solihull Moors Career Mode series here on FIFA 20 and the first game of this episode is that grudge match against Manchester United which I've just noticed from the news feed here. They've signed Jordi Alba and he's looking to make his debut against us. But let's take a look at who else will face off in this episode as January has another packed schedule. So we've got obviously Manchester United in the FA Cup but we've also got Aston Villa in the first leg of the semi-final of the Carabao Cup. That's followed up by a game against Newport, followed by a game by Cambridge United. The rest of the games we will cover in episode 37, but for now, let's get into these ones at the start of the month. Here we go then, Manchester United in the FA Cup, and we do have a rather depleted team available to us today. So we are giving a debut to a young right back, Mitchell, who's been brought in from the Youth Academy. And a few other players are obviously not playing in the usual positions that they might be used to them playing. We learned every, anything from our last encounter with United. It was that we must be patient and we must work the ball particularly hard. United now coming away with it. Did he beat the offside trap? Mitchell tried to step up and Lamar is in. Back post with the ball and it goes all the way through. Not the best ball that you will ever see played, but it is the first threat on our goal. So he tries to intercept. Duhu will now have to chase back as Wan Bissaka is very quick. Ziegler knocks that away, but it's straight into Odegaard's path. He's jinking around on the edge of the box, and Mobile finds the space and threatens the goal with first shot from United. He's backing off, backing off, switches back inside, switches it in to Peterson. Overlap from Patterson, and what the hell was that, Patterson? I know you don't have particularly good shooting boots, but that was lame even for you. Well done by Ziegler, and we get that ball away somehow. Evans now. Witzel now, great tackle, but the overlap is coming from Lamar, and Witzel's through, and what a save there from Kelly. Keeps us in this tie. Vitzel comes through from midfield, smashes it goalward and gets a hand to it. Man United threatening here and we do need to try to break on this counter attack whilst we've got the opportunity. Lovely little chip ball through to Peterson who's made a fantastic run but Fred tracked his progress exceptionally well and the attack breaks down. In behind and that is good work by Kelly again as we try to break away. Caught out and United have us on the ropes right now. Conan tries to get the ball in. Mitchell says, I'm not letting you past. Good work. And to get there first lads and we get that ball away but we are under so much pressure right now. Great work by Rafferty. <sighs> Wambasaka with the goal. That is gut wrenching because it is not a good goal at all. A corner in that we can't get clear. And he's just got there ahead of Kelly. Nobody around him, Wambasaka and just nods it past the keeper. 1-0 to United. Good work by Pearson. He's playing ping pong with him as he then gets the ball in and Patterson gets that clear. OK, we've only a few minutes left on the clock. We're throwing caution to the wind here, going into a 4-2-4 formation. And let's see if we can grab ourselves an equaliser in the dying moments of this game. Smith. Off to Volpini. Into Smith. Throws it through to Bjorn Nystrom. What a goal. 
What a difference that that formation made. Unbelievable, we have managed to get back into this game. I can't believe how we play against United. That is a great ball by Smithy, and I know it clipped the defender on the way through, but it made its way through there to Bjorn Nystrom. And he might only have had one opportunity, but as usual, he has finished it with a plum. 1-1. One, one. And there we have it. The last, almost last kick of the game here against United. We have managed to wrangle a draw out of it. Fantastic result by the boys as we go into a replay against United and the big books as we go to Old Trafford this time. Here we go then, it's time for another massive game here in the Carabao Cup and this time it is a Midlands derby as we face off against Aston Villa at Villa Park. Villa shuffling the ball around exceptionally well here. McTominay has gone to Villa from Man United as we can see here on the ball. El Ghazi now for, you, for Villa, out wide left, looking to find space to put it into the box. He switches it to McTominay, to the back post. Cockrell Mullet, oh, John McGinn, firing that one over the top. Allen fires that out, get clear into Yotta. Conson now, down the line to Wesley, looks to hold the play up. He comes inside of Cockrell Mullet and McTominay. He was offside, but he did hit the post with that effort. Villa, definitely a challenge. Allen puts him under pressure, feeds it off to Rafferty. He's turned his man inside out. Can he get the shot away? He can. Unbelievable stuff. We go 1-0 up here against Villa, and that is our really our first opportunity of this game. Villa have threatened, put us under immense amount of pressure in the opening phases, but when it counted, Brendan Rafferty got the ball, got clear of the defender, ripped him to shreds in fact, and then smashes it past the Villa keeper. Great finish, Brendan. 1-0. Berglund, Taylor. Off to Allen, he'll drive this down the line, use his pace, cut back for Taylor, inside for Volpini, feeds it off to Rafferty who immediately cuts it back knowing that he needs to try to hold up the play. Mollett inside for Alic, he holds it up to and finds Brendan Rafferty who's turned his man again, gets the shot away and what a fabulous shot it was, keeper does well though. Villa are back underway here. Rafferty doing really well there. Really strong bit of play as we just hold things up, knowing that we have the lead. Villa need to chase us. Fredrickson just can't feed that ball off there, and Villa escape away with it. Douglas Luis out to McGinn. Villa shifting the ball around nicely. But Patterson is there to clear that up and it comes out to Alic, feeds it off to Fredrickson. Volpini holds the ball, stolen though by McGinn. And that was poor play by Volpini. And that has led to the equaliser. You have to feel that the play breaking down from Volpini in the middle of the park is the one thing that led to that scenario unfolding. Really good play by Villa though to be fair to them as they side through us to get the equaliser just ahead of half time. 1-1. One, one. Alpini doing well. Talent into Fredrickson. Lays it off to Cockrell Mollet who finds Volpini exceptionally well. On the overlap here from Alic. Fires it long into the box. Can he get there? Rafferty almost beats Taylor to it. Who has to drive it out for a corner. 
goes in now down the left hand channel for Villa looking for the cross into the box it goes to the far stick and Patterson nods that out for a throw in Grealish with the first time ball in what a save by Thomas Douglas Luiz now with a raking ball out wide here to El Ghazi gets it into the box Patterson does well to get that clear under the cosh right now as the Villa put serious pressure on us Garzi swings one in Taylor just about gets there oh I couldn't quite play that ball Villa come away with it but we've managed to get ourselves the away goal here which is the most important part of this tie as we will go back to Damson Park and look to overthrow Villa on our home deck great result in the Carabao Cup here one all right okay so this next game up is against Newport County who are playing in a 4-1-2-1-2 formation hopefully we can get the victory here and push on in the league it's a 2-1 loss though unfortunately with Alan getting on the score sheet for ourselves but Dimitru and Abrahams did enough for Newport to take the victory here we go then a bonus for this episode as we go through this packed schedule, we have to do the replay of the Emirates Cup game, Emirates FA Cup game against Manchester United. We've got a pretty changed lineup in order to try to deal with the fatigue that we've got going on as well. But hopefully, we can get a result here at Old Trafford that establishes us as giant killers. So tries to come through. Lamar has done Mitchell. Goes down the wide left here, gets the ball into the box. And Ziegler does so well there to shepherd that ball off. To Nystrom, turns on the edge of the box, looks for Harbour. Knows that he's got nowhere to go and comes back with it. So much pressure here from United right now. But we don't have any option but to keep moving the ball around to try and find that space. Nystrom feeds it in. Fredrickson can't quite feed it across the box with a chip ball Man. poor pass by Peterson oh, we didn't follow that run and Lamar's in to grab the first goal for United absolute thunderbolt great finish there by the left winger didn't track the run and he just smashes it past Kelly Unlucky lads, we need though to do better in the midfield area. 1 0 to United. Ball comes out to Lamar once more on this left hand channel. Knocks it into the box. Oh, what are we doing? What are we doing? Ziegler knocks it back to Kelly and he instantaneously tries to dive in, header it away goes straight into the path of Immobile and he makes easy work of it great finish by Immobile 2-0 Dan James here looking to feed into the box Immobile into Fred gets it in to Odegaard and that was a good chance by United James feeds it into the box Immobile Ball was just behind Ziegler, unfortunately, I think Ziegler did just enough to put the striker off. Off to Smith, rolls his man and finds Fredrickson. The overlap coming in the form of Nystrom. Can't get the ball into his teammate though, and the attack breaks down. Patterson tries to fire it off to Mitchell, and he does well. Come on, ref, that's not a foul. Good play by United to get down the line. Got us camped into our own half here as Matweedy knocks that out wide. Great bit of play by Bergman. And there we have nearly, very nearly the third goal for United and Mobile just wide off the target. 
we are going to be short as United break away each time as we are over committing manpower to this 4-2-4 formation but it's the only way that we can get possibly get a result here well done by Mitchell having an absolute fantastic game now we really are going for broke because we're bringing on both Alpini and Alic to sit in that too we need their drive coming through that midfield we need the pace but as we know Alic is more of an attacking player so we will have to be very careful with how we play this Alic off to Harbour great work fed back to him and he gets in behind but a good piece of play by United to come back and there we go they have finally done the dirty on us as we're not joint killers this time but I think we can hold our heads up high here because we have beaten United in the Carabao Cup we got a draw against them in the first round and yes I know we've gone down here but they are a Premier League team we're in League 2 Okay, so here we go. The last game of the episode is a home game against Cambridge United, who are playing in a 5-3-2 formation. A midfielder playing out in that left-back position. Can we get a result? We do get a result. Alic with a penalty in the 43rd minute. Cambridge did draw level, though, through Dallas in the 56th minute, but Peterson managed to get himself on the score sheet and get us the win that we really needed in the 71st minute. Okay, so there we have it, another episode in the bag, and we currently lie in third place, just one point behind Newport County, and more importantly, perhaps four points ahead of Forest Green, who are chasing us in fourth position. Hope you've enjoyed this episode, and if you have, don't forget to hit that like button, and also subscribe to the channel for more FIFA 20 content. But for now, I'm out of here.